Well, all right there, sports fan. We had people ask me, said, uh, the other day when I sharpened a drill, they says, won't you show us how to sharpen a drill? Well, okay. All right, I got a 3 8 drill. Matter of fact, I got the one I was using. Try to get to where y'all can see that thing. See it chipped right there? You can also tell it's a little discolored. But I'm going to go over here and we're gonna, I'm going to show you how I hand sharpen one. And I got a dollar and a quarter so it'll cut when we get done with it. So let's get started on that. Okay, when sharpening a, a drill, and uh, this one, you can see a little discoloration right there on that edge. Uh, you can tell right there it's not real sharp. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to face this off right here. Go ahead and uh, take your a wheel dressing tool like that right there and let's get that faced off because if you if you grind the wheels like this then your drill bit's gonna be that way you want to make sure that thing's good and flat you want to have you some water Need just some water right there so you can dip it in. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that drill up there. I'm going to square this edge up to the face of the, of the grinding wheel and get the, that edge right there on the cutting edge of it. And then I'm going to just drop my hand. I'm going to push it in. I'm going to drop that hand, and that'll cut that your relief on the back. And there you go. That she's dressed up and ready to go. Pretty. Well, yeah, wait a minute. That's off just a little bit, looks like. Now she looks back in the center. So. Let's go over here and try it out and see what that does. Look at that. You think I'm pulling too hard? I'll put it in, set the feed, power feed on it. That was my hand. That's power feed on it. If that thing was not cutting as fast as the power feed was feeding it, the power feed would kick off. Well, all right there, sports fans. That's all it takes to sharpen your a drill bit by hand. Uh, if you got one of them bigger ones, you know those... Uh, uh, what they call them, drill masters or, wh or whatever. Uh, they do a pretty good job. They will keep everything even, but it is slow as molasses at Christmas time with that, that thing. It just because it just takes off so little, but to keep from overheating your bit, and that's kind of way they had it designed. Uh, well, I think something master. I can't think of what they're called, but anyway, I got one. But uh, you see how long it took me to to grind that that drill. And you see how it cuts. Uh, I got no complaints with that. Uh, as far as folks get all nervous about, well, what angle? How you get that angle? The angle's already there. If you roll that thing up there and you got your your grinding wheel faced off square, if you'll take that thing, when you go to sticking that up there, you can set your drill at the angle that it was already on. Feed it in there to the wheel, let it touch, and drop your hands, let it touch, drop your hands, roll it over, 
square it up, still the same angle, let it touch, drop your hand. Do that a couple times, cool it off. We ain't talking about, don't do it. Just, all you got to do is just, all you're doing is touching it up. You know, so, I mean, if it's, the edge of it's chipped or something and you got to take a little more off of it, it'll take you a little longer. But do the same thing. You won't overheat your bit. Uh, you'll keep you, uh, the angle the same. So you, your point angle, you don't want to get it like this. You want to keep it at, I think that's a 60 degree angle is what they call that. And that's from there to there. And uh, it, it's not that hard to do. And it doesn't have to be that critical. But I mean, like that and right there, you'll see one side doing more than the other. If I'm having to drill something in the lathe pretty precise, I'm gonna put it on that, on that drill Drill doctor, that's it. I'm gonna put it on that drill doctor because I can make both sides the same. And yes, it'll take a while, but uh, I'm gonna say, now that in there wouldn't, you could tell that in there was only cutting one side, but I could go in there and take that one side back over there, hit it a lick or two, go try it, both sides probably could. Let's see. I don't know, we just play. Well, now wrap this back around there. It come out, it was coming off of this side. I think. Now I tell you what, let's just do another to make sure. We finna do something technical. Okay. Yeah, see, down in there, that other one has a curl coming off of it, too. But this is the flute that the longest curl is in. I'm going to go over and hit it one time. Let's see. All right, I'm, I'm going to hit this one side, one time, one leap. Now then, we'll go over and see what that'll do. Look at that double curl. Well, all righty. You asked for it. That's the way I do it right there. That's the way I uh, hand sharpen drill bits. Uh, make sure you keep do the same amount on both sides. Keep your pressure even. Keep your little water there. Do it a couple of times. Dip it in the water. Keep that thing cool. Like I said, as you can tell on that bit right there that the other day when I was trying to drill them holes with it, you saw and now I changed the drill bit. 
that uh, it had done already discolored it some because it had gotten it hot. So there you go. Same drill bit. I just kind of cleaned her up a little bit. And you see, I drilled two holes through. Uh, I think that's about a one inch thick block. So can't argue with that right there. So anyway, I hope that, uh, that helps you some in sharpening the drill bits. But like I said, make sure you, Excuse me, make sure you turn that thing where you start on your leading edge. Take it in at that same angle. The angle's already there. Just even it up and put it on there. Make sure you dress your wheel first so it's good and flat. And because uh, if your wheel's like that, the edge of your bit's going to be like that. So anyway, get that thing squared up there. Try to keep your point in the middle. Keep a look on it because if you sharpen it too much on one side, you'll see that point ease over on one side. Keep it in the middle. Keep her sharp. Keep her drilling. Now then. So when you do have one side that's cutting a little, just a tad longer, mark it. Look down in there. See which side's cut. Mark it. Take it over there. Hit that side right there. Just You seen just how much I hit it. And she went to pulling double curls out of it. So there you go. Uh, like I said, those drill doctors are nice. They keep them even, but they are super slow. But uh takes you a little bit to figure out how to use it, too. But uh, like I said, they do, they do a pretty good job. So if I got something going on that I'm having to drill, here's the thing about it doing on just one side. A hole like it, it don't matter. A hole in about anything, it doesn't matter. If you're going through the center of a shaft, it matters because it, that sharp side is going to start walking. And it's going to start walking off. Uh, so then if you have to drill one from one side and one from the other, your hole in the middle is going to be like that instead of like that. So that's kind of why you want to do that. Uh, you know, if you can drill it small, if you can ream it out, but you're only talking about a ream ring, you're going to, you know, a couple of three thousands, all they going to cut. So... Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's how you sharpen a drill bit by hand, or way I do it anyway. I hope this helps you. I hope you learned a little something from it, and uh, maybe it'll save you some time in the shop on your own little projects. I will say this while we're talking about drill bits. If you are drilling through some small, I mean some thin stuff, thin stuff go buy you some step drills that's that's the only way you're gonna drill that them the, those other drills are hang and you have a hard time getting through that back side that step drill right there will go right on through there and i mean there's that one right there is uh go up to 32 millimeter That one there go to seven eighths of an inch. Oh, uh, I've got several of them in here. That nothing that'll go to seven eighths, but uh, those drills is one you want to use on on thin material. If you're drilling on like something that's a uh, eighth inch thick or something like that, I'm gonna say eighth or less. You need, you need them right there. You may want to take you another drill and get you a starter hole in it. But uh, like if you're working on some of this, uh, I don't know, tar, uh, oh, I can't think of it. Now this furniture you just go buy and put together and you having to drill a hole in it with that stuff real thin, get you them step drills right there. They, it'll work a whole lot better, a whole lot faster than uh, than um, a regular drill or, or a hole saw or something. And then you, you'll know, you mark your step and then it bump down and then it'll hit the next and it'll bump down. Then there you go, you're, uh, you're kind of back on target. You'll have you a clean hold, you know where you're at on it. So, But anyway, that's a, that's a drill tip. Y'all be careful, stay safe, go to church on Sunday. See you next time.